problems. Because I couldn't come to Castle McGee. Well, you can't just fill in the corner here again. Damn it. No, no, that's... Um, it's Mickey, isn't it? Yeah, Mickey, yeah. Mickey. Yeah. And Dermot. Dermot. And Bernie. And Bernie. I want to buy it right. Uh, yeah. RBK. Yeah. Of course it is. The last thing. Right. Yeah. The smash and my is in the care of the commissioners of the public works by the station of the provisions of the National Monuments Act. Public are requested to aid the commissioners in preserving it. Injury or defacement is severely punishable by law. Yeah. I think now that there's two reasons. There's two reasons for having that um, notice there. One, because it's an important habitation site. <laughs> Secondly, because uh, there's a certain amount of damage done. First of all, by badgers or rabbits or whatever it is, yeah. uh, and some of it also, I suppose, by humans. Yeah. And it's known uh, that people uh, had been back in the underground passages here, and it looks as though uh, inside here now, to where I'm pointing, that the roof of this uh, escape chamber has collapsed, some ex to some extent anyway. Yeah. And uh, it's a large site. Now, uh, along here, I'd guess. Uh, the, the remains of, uh, of an old field fence that goes down and this I think would be a, uh, a continuation of it here over the fence now on the other side uh, there's another mound this is the other mound here yes. and that one has a depression in the centre of it too uh, yeah. and it's very much smaller than this yeah. <laughs> you can see here now uh, the size of this uh, central chamber so that's the one there that has collapsed down there isn't it? that depression there yes yeah, that's yeah. it. This would be part of the outside mound now. It yeah. goes round uh, in a circle there. But this, <coughs> again, uh, at a guess now, I'm only just going by appearances, yeah. that this would have been the chamber. And the escape passage goes in this direction, in the direction of the river, I understand. Yeah. And there are some local people uh, who had been down in it and would probably be able to give them a kind of a description. Yeah. Well, there's a tradition too that was going towards Refran, up in that direction, but... Again, yeah, it's just well, a tradition. <coughs> that's it. That will be yeah. from one ha um, inhabited place to another. Yeah. But I'd, I'd say this is much, much older than Rofra. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> this probably, um, the early settlers came in off the sea and would have come up uh, here uh, and follow the, the line of the river all yeah. along. Yeah. And, and this is tractile land and they would have settled here then. Yeah, occupied the land. Yeah. yeah. There are some more forts uh, in this line in the next town land now. Yeah. Uh, there are two at least yeah. uh, still visible. This is the northeast end of Rafran, and out there is Island of the Pike or uh, Ilan Egeeson, as they call it. Yeah, that's right. We came down from the Fairgreen uh, down to look at that um, fort uh, that's, that's a national monument. Yeah, it's a big fort. You can see the extent of it here. Yeah. Now out there there was a ferry going across, I think a people went across to the Ross on the far side and down there is the site of Lynn's House, the County Council's Cottage and also Ruddy's Town. That's right, that's right. That's and the people there used to go over in boats, I think, uh, and up that uh, upper roadway then uh, yeah. to Mass. And... You went in down there, Johnny, didn't you? I did, yeah, that's for sure, yeah. Where the but sign... I didn't, go in, I didn't go in on my own. Well, where the sign is there, isn't it? You know, you're... Well, the sign is up there, that's where you're in, wasn't it? Well, I'd say it was more a little bit that side of it, the sea side of it, you yeah. know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably, yes. Now, and you know, there was a, 
but the side below there was a green ring around about it all like but yeah. I had a lot of scattered, so you just feed them in winter time because it's dry. Yeah. And they've all packed down to the entrance that was there. Yeah. 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 Well, there was a hollow inside then when you went down. <coughs> was that there all the time? Oh, inside. Yeah, yeah. there was a hollow inside, yeah. And it was just very little now, a hollow inside. Uh-uh. But it was going down there, yes, because uh, you'd want to dig three or four feet deep in order to get in there. Yeah. But when you crept into the passage now, would you notice that hollow over here? Was the, did, was the roof down on top of you there? The big, just f- only flags that was overhead on the roof. Mm-hmm, yes. Only but like, when you were looking at it from uh, underneath now, did it look as though some of the flags had fallen down, they had collapsed? No. I, 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 what I said, I, I wouldn't say that they had. Yeah, yeah. But you know the one put up present fancy work? I know. Just roughly laid across. Roughly laid across. <laughs> yeah. The one said big flags and small flags. How far did you go into it? I went in when I made the only age I told fair now that time, went in to two or three like different we, rooms uh, like. Uh, Did you? I, did, yeah. I suppose uh, from here to the shed over there maybe. Oh no, we did not. No. From here to the ditch there. Well in about that, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was a small little place you now, just like you see a small do you know a small kitchen there? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Like put uh, walls like separating, you know, like partition walls, like. Yeah. Yes. And no trace of bones or anything no, like that inside. No, no. What down here now? From that down, they call that uh, village Ruddy's town. Well, that's what I ever had to call now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The old yeah. people call it, but yeah. there's no one yeah. about it now. Yeah. Oh no. Ruddy's well, did you ever hear it called pulling a meal tog? Pulling a meal tog is below it. That's uh, <laughs> further down. Yeah. Ah. Marching fetches, isn't it? Yeah, if you have heard Tony McCain, you know him up there. You know, that his dad was rare down there. And, uh. Oh, yes. Rudy's town, and right up the wall there is Ralph Rand. That's right, yeah. For a few minutes there, we were up at uh, Donny Barry's again. That's yeah. looking down towards the river now. Yeah, and. Um, we're down now on the, onto the um, <coughs> road again, the Steed on Road. Steed on Road is right, looking across at Ralph Rand. Down there you can see the, the, a green road, a right away, uh, down to the shore. And if you follow that line across, <coughs> and you can pick it up again on the far shore. <coughs> That's the way the uh, people from this area used to go across to Mass. Uh, and they used to bring horses and carts across in it too. Uh, <coughs> that comes out at, oh, at Ambinoxus uh, and up the Ross Road then up for Kilana. Yeah. And that whole house there, I heard somebody saying it was Joyce's. Yes, yeah, I wouldn't, sh- I wouldn't be sure of the name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this uh, would be another another ferry here. Well, yes, a crossing place anyway. Yeah. Now, the road is called this Summer Hill. I don't know why. Uh, I suppose on account of the house, because um, yeah. the house yeah. is called Summer Hill. In actual fact, it's, it's, it's rough land town land. Yeah, well, the Parsons always gave their residents a special name and they gave this one Summer Hill House they think. Yes. And the foolish local people then wanted to be as grand as them. Yeah. And forgot the lovely our friend. Yeah, they're from Summer Hill. Yeah. yeah. That's up at the back of <coughs> Summer Hill House now. Yeah. As we noticed there by the Office of Public Works. Yes. Uh, that one and the one beside it, I think, are both national monuments now. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> that, according to the Shell Guide, now is a, dis- uh, a damaged uh, burial pl- place. <coughs> they say square, but I wouldn't think so. You can see that stone now has been displaced. <coughs> and round on the other side too, I think there are two more now in, out of line there. <coughs> it is circular. <coughs> is it supposed to be uh, through the temple? Uh, I don't think so. No, well, habitation site. No, burial, I'd say, more, more likely to, to have more been a burial. Like and these rocks mm-hmm. they've used here, they were found locally too, not too far away, glacial boulders. Yeah, yes, there's, <coughs> there's lots of them on that land. Yeah. <coughs> now there's the superstition about cutting stuff off at all, there's briars there that haven't been cleared. Now maybe, maybe that's the reason, and maybe it's just that <coughs> they were hard to get at. Nobody bothered to take care of them. Yeah. This was a fairly big one. Oh, yes. <coughs> yes. Um, there again, you can see the 
Now do the other one under here further than that. Yeah. yeah. And further than that. Each national monument north us. Yeah. Now this is a circle of large boulders. Very large, yeah. <clears throat> some of them now have to, some of them are upright. Uh, there's one that has fallen down, I, I would say. Um, <clears throat> round on the other side now, there are two more that have fallen down, and some of those are displaced. Now, the fancy name for those are orthostats, and it's simply it's a fancy name for a large standing stone. Yeah. <clears throat> are these uh, down as the temple stone? Well, it's, it's, it's down as a stone circle. Stone now the size of those boulder would, boulders would be roughly the same as the other ones we saw in yeah. Andrew Riley's and the one there at Mollock, no Crusher. Yeah. These are Germans over here that have acquired this house. Now this would be a burial place that we're talking about here, wouldn't it? I think so, yes. Both of them. Yeah. Of course the boulders mm. would lay down hand in hand mm. by the ice. Yeah. Now, and this is then... Ah oh, yes, <coughs> yes. That. That's if you were across the river. Uh, I came across an interesting thing there. There used to be a regatta at one time. In 1835, uh, there was a story in the local, in the papers about um, police brutality, as you call it now. <coughs> Apparently, at a regatta, there must have been a fight afterwards. Anyway, the police, three of them, I think, were fined uh, for being a bit too severe in their treatment of the uh, the people who were, they were trying to. <laughs> Sub <Sub-jew. laughs> <laughs> The boys Irish after Yeah, well, apparently they must have overdone it in that case. Uh, mm. uh, down here. Th- that would be the knocks, one of the knocks that was holding this regatta here, I think. Well, eight, yes, well, 1835, that would fit mm. with, uh, with him. He was fond of boats, I think, and he had a fleet of sh- uh, small ships himself. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Mm. This would be Ernest Martin that lived in Castle Ray House. That's right, we came across him before. <coughs> yeah. um, and he had one of his boats <coughs> as a flagship of the fleet. Yeah. And uh, he had cannons on it. Yeah. National Monument. So you were Your name is uh, Werner Thies, right? Thies, T-H-I-E-S. T-H-I-E-S. And Very German. Gabby Thies, yeah. Both of you from Germany. Right. Living here in Raffran Townland. A long way from Germany. Some thousand miles. Thousand miles, yeah. Um, y- did both of you live in um, uh, Berlin? Yeah. Yeah. West, West Berlin. Berlin. West Berlin. And you have been here, you told me, since about 1979. That is so. Yeah. Shortly before Patrick was born. Yeah. yeah. So, um, how did you know about this place over here? Well, we didn't know it at all in the first place. Yeah. So we started... We started in North Germany, looking for a holiday home. And North Germany was too expensive. And Denmark and Sweden wouldn't accept the foreigners. And we went to Scotland. They had just passed a law banning foreigners from purchasing land. They meant to keep the English out of Scotland, but they couldn't make a law just against the English, so it was against all foreigners. Yeah. And once we were in Scotland, it was just a, start, a step over and then we landed in Ireland. Yeah, yeah. So from Scotland, uh, I suppose you finally came over here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You didn't see it advertised in papers or anything? Yeah. No, but we saw an advertise. It was a German chap yeah. selling Irish sites and cottages and what have you. Yeah. But that, this one wasn't exactly in the paper. But so I went here, met this German chap. He lives in Grange in County Clare. Yeah. And he took me here. This is Grange Road. Yeah. He had that that house already from Johnny Clare. Yeah. And uh, well, he sold it to us. Ah oh, yes. 
So you had a lot of repairs to do here. It wasn't pretty bad shape when you came, wasn't it? Fairly bad. Yeah. The hay shed. The hay shed, yeah. 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 Um, but the windows were still in and the roof was okay, so... There was we, no water, no well, nothing. No toilet, no facilities. Yeah, yeah. And the road was bad up here. No road at all. <laughs> no road at all. No road at all. <laughs> now, you work for um, a German television station. Do you? Which one is it? It's the Berlin television uh, station. German television network is divided in every German state. German is a federal republic. Yeah. Every German state has one television station. Yeah. And they all join together. Yeah. First German television network. Yeah. So the Berlin television station is part of the West German yeah. television network. Yeah. And that station I work for. Yeah. So you were into uh, politics. Politics. Reporting in the politics yeah. or the political. In a German politics. Yeah. yeah. You have been there for some years now, have you? Yeah, it's my tenth year now. Tenth year now. Yeah. yeah. And. Uh, you have been working too for some years, haven't you? I was working for adult education and yeah. people who came to Berlin and I informed them about the legal status of the city, the problems and all this. Yeah. So it was weekly courses. Courses, Different yeah. people every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you went to university? Mm-hmm. Which in one? Berlin. Yeah. Free university in Berlin. Free university in Berlin. And uh, your husband there told me that you were in America for a while. I was. I was an exchange student in California. In California. For, uh, Two years? No, just one year. One year. Yeah. Then I went again and visited a few years later. Yeah. Nothing had changed. And <laughs> you had a boyfriend with Irish roots. Yes, oh, it was terrible. My family was shocked. It was a very Protestant family. And yeah. uh, of all the boys, I got this. Um, and um, I still maintain he was one of the best looking fellows I ever met. <laughs> and his hair was fabulous. One of those red uh, Irish, you know, the yeah. gold is yeah. red. It was yeah. fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's plants mostly you have in Germany, isn't it? Oh, but my color. Your color. Mm, yeah. So not really <coughs> blonde and not really dark, something in between. Oh yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of the Dutch Swing College Band. They saw them coming over to uh, Pontoon Ballroom one time, and they were all blonde. yellow blonde. They were yeah. great musicians, all blondes. Uh, what do you like about this place, sir? You know, you're living here for some time. I mm. suppose you like it, do you? Oh ah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's more at home, in fact. Yes, every time we come back, we really feel coming home. That's something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's wa the warm welcome the we, we get from the neighbors. Yeah. It is the nice people. It is the countryside. It is the peace. Yeah. Tranquility. Yeah. I thought you'd, you'd miss the sound of traffic and the roar of traffic. <laughs> Not really. You don't. <laughs> Not That's really. what we run away from. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought like uh, if people are brought up and live in these circumstances that you know when you go living away in peace and solitude and whatever that you miss all these things. You don't. No. No. Not for a minute. You don't. Yeah. You know we live right in the city of Berlin. Yeah. And uh, it is really annoying you in a way that noise. Is that so? Yeah. If you can oh, sleep I know. properly and. It annoys me. But I didn't think it would annoy you, like you grew up with it, you know, day after day, it, it passes you by, you don't, you're not aware that it's there at all. Oh, you are aware. You are aware of it, yes. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd be more aware of it when you come over here, like, you know, where's it gone to, where's it all gone to, but uh, you like the peace and whatever. Mm. Yeah. 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 So, let's hope that you stay around here. We for will. For some years to come, yeah, yeah. Because this place here was becoming derelict and it's, uh, well, it's unusual and it's nice to see and to hear the German language being spoken here. You know, I don't think it ever happened in the history of this country before. I had a young fellow running in and out there, he was talking German away, you know. But he speaks proper English as well. He does, but he speaks German quite well too. And <laughs> better. Yeah. Even better. <laughs> Even better, yeah. Well, there was this, this man talking to me one night in the pub and uh, he knew where we live here in Ireland. Yeah. And he said to me, oh, it's good that there is light again on that hill. And yeah. that was the moment I felt we are accepted in this neighborhood. That's right, that's right. Or oh, they don't like to see houses derelict, you know. Yeah. They don't like to see houses derelict. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Werner Teese. Have I got the name right? You got. <laughs> thank you.